this year, uh, the last two years, we have been having uh, problems in Uganda uh, and also in the world. However, my response to problems, I, I, I use the Bible, the book of Genesis, which some of the preachers touched on. You are created in God's image. Imagine that, that I'm not like a cow or a, a goat, that I am like God. Now, I take that very seriously. So whenever we have problems, my re reaction is to face them, to face the, the problems. And using the knowledge, the power which God gave us. So the problems we have faced, many of them have been solved. That's what you should do. That's what should be done. Because even in the Bible, when uh, God was punishing the Egyptians, he told the Israelis, the Israeli people to, to smear blood on the doorsteps of the houses. Then the, the death will pass by. And when they did it, people were saved. So when we have problems, please listen for the solution. If you don't listen to the solution, then you will get the, the, the problem. But I don't think we should imagine a time when there are no problems. I think that is uh, incorrect. Because remember, we were in the Garden of Eden, living happily, our, 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 our judge, you remember Adam and his wife, Eve, I don't think that time they had any problems. But because of what they did, especially the woman, that woman, <laughs> God expelled us from the Garden of Eden and said from now on, Whatever you, 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 you are going to have a lot of problems and whatever you eat will have to come from, from the sweat of your brow. So, please, don't behave as if we are still in the Garden of Eden where there are no problems. Uh-uh. I, mean, I don't want to be part of that. Because we, we, we were expelled in broad daylight. And so for me, when I have these problems, I actually enjoy them. Yes, I solve them. I don't enjoy them that I like, but I, 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 all my mind focuses on solving them. So now, for instance, the, 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 the problem of corona, you know what, what happened? We are now, we have relaxed. We are now saying be vaccinated. Be vaccinated two times. And if you are in my group, 50 and above, always have a booster every six months. And if you don't have those, we are not going to allow you to uh, public meetings. Now, let people do that. Corona has already gone down. In spite of the fact that so many people are not vaccinated, the vaccines are sitting there. We are begging people, please come and be vaccinated. Please come. They are not coming. But still, corona has gone down. So I don't really, this, I don't think this is now the problem of the disease. It is now the problem of the behavior. My prime minister is called Katapira. <laughs> the, 
the other caterpillar, the 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 the, 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 uh, the bulldozer. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we have not had any case in the last two weeks. Fourteen days. Okay. Thank you. So, both Corona and Ebola were really behavior problems. People not listening. The same with AIDS. Same with AIDS. So if people listen, problems will, will, be, will, be, will be less. Now, regarding the cost of living, which uh, Pastor Serrada was, was praying, praying about, the, the cost of living, we, we, we know where it is coming from. It is coming from the problem of petroleum, which is caused by the war in Ukraine and, and the fight among the West and, and the Russians. The Western countries, there is oil, but the Western countries in their fight with Russia, they, they stop the, the oil to, to punish Russia. And in the process, you, you fellows, you will get affected. But this would be sort of, because the, the fuel is there, it is just the fight among these people. It's not that there is no, no petroleum. It is there. But for us, we have been advising them quietly, talking to the Western group and also the Russians. So that one will, will be sorted out. Will sort, will either will be sorted out or, or it will sort itself out. And in fact, it's the, the price is coming down a bit. Now, because of that, it affected the prices here. Transport, the, the bananas, the what, although, although they are grown here, but to, to convey them from the village to here, the, the price went up to deliver the, to, to deliver the the goods. Now, but last year we had a little bit of drought also, and reliable rain, and that's why we resolved that we must shift to irrigated agriculture. Agriculture not just based on on. Uh, rain only, but also based on irrigation. And there's a big movement in doing that by using the gravity irrigation, but also using uh, solar powered water, uh, water pumps, which you are going to, give, to spread out to as many villages as possible so that we immunize ourselves against this uh, erraticness, erraticness of the rain. So therefore, I would want to encourage people to not to be too pessimistic, because it's not correct. Because I am a wealth creator. I'm not talking from, and I'm not, a, I'm not an armchair uh, talker about the economy. I am involved in the economy. I am a farmer. I have bananas. I have, I have cows. I know what's happening in the economy. Some of the sectors of the economy are doing well. For instance, People are crying about food. Food prices, food prices, have, yes, they have gone up. But that means that the farmers are getting money. So that's why more people should go in the farming. Because if, if, you, if you know that the food prices are going up, 
Why? Because there is big demand of food in this part of the world. There was bad drought in Kenya, in, in Somalia, in, I think in some parts of Ethiopia. I hear that people are coming from Kenya from, to, buy, to buy food from Teso. I've heard that. They come up to the gardens to buy. So that means there is money in agriculture. Now, if you don't see that, then of course you are also at fault because there is money there. Me as a farmer, I know that there is money in agriculture, in cows, in crops, because I know it. I'm not, I have not heard about it, hearing about it. I, I am involved in it. Yes, some of the sectors were hit, like, like the hotels, because of corona. The hotels, tourism. But the others are So therefore, please uh, put on spectacles and see where, where the problem is, but also where the opportunities are. Now, finally, on, on crime, uh, there has been some crime, some people committing, trying to attack police here, but, but all those, many of them have been uh, uh, arrested some have been killed, and many of them, you, when we arrest them, or they are killed, you find that they are somehow influenced by bad messages. That's why I, I thank the people who are praying for people who are spreading against people who spread bad messages. The structure in, U in Uganda is very strong structure. Our structure, our security apparatus, very strong. There's no way you can think that you can go and kill people, do this, and you survive. You will not survive. And I would want to ask to uh, appeal to those groups who mislead these young people to really stop. Because those, those young people will die, like the fellows with, there's a character who, who was killed in Kapeka with another one called Sechimpi. He was a noop, a noop something in, in Wakiso, and he had been committed, he had been killing people, he had been uh, uh, robbing, killing people, so many, a number of times, but finally the security forces got, got him and killed him. So therefore, my appeal is on the messaging. Listen carefully to what we say. Because some of us have been on this on this on this effort full time, not part time, for the last six ten years. Even if I'm very dull, but if I've been on something for six ten years, but please listen to my my dullness. Six ten years. Actually, not 1962, from 19, because in 1960 I was already active. There is nothing I don't know about all this, this one here, this one here. No way. So if I tell you, and you, you, you think there is another way, there is another way, you are going to be like the Jews. You know, Jesus was born in, in, among the Jews. But the Jews did not believe in Jesus. They said that there was another, another Messiah. Up to now they are waiting. And I, 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 I don't know whether the, the Jews have suffered a lot. 
during that time. Uh, I don't know whether it is because they didn't believe Jesus or what, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to, 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 to go into, into that. So, please, listen. These problems can be solved. All of them, health, economy, security, but listen to people who have spent a bit of time on these issues. And we are here cost free. I don't need any consultancy fees. I'm just giving you free advice. Certain sectors of the economy are doing well. Farming is doing very well. Industry, manufacturing is doing well. You can go and check. Yeah. Except, of course, people who make mistakes. Because there are people who go on and borrow commercial loans and want to put them in agriculture or put them in uh, industry. Those will, will run into problems. That's why I've said don't borrow if you are in manufacturing, if you are in agriculture, don't go into commercial loans. Borrow from UDB. If UDB doesn't have the money, wait. Don't risk anything. <coughs> if you listen, things are moving. Now, tourism was recovering, then Ebola came in, it's true. The, the, the tourism, tourism sector has been, has been badly hit. Tourism, hotels, uh, private schools, private schools, uh, those, those have a problem. But there were sectors, there are sectors which we will, even in war, we will we, we'll always have money. And agriculture is one of them. There's no way when people will stop eating. That's why you hear people wasting their time. Computers, what? People don't eat computers. I've not seen anybody eating computers. So the computers are computers, good, but about, about food. Remember the human needs are, I think uh, it is food, health, Clothing and housing, these are the most uh, primary ones. Then you add others like transport and so on and so forth. But these four, uh, food, health, clothing, and housing, mm. fundamental. On those ones, especially food and medicine, you, you, you never go wrong. <laughs> 